Welcome to our exploration of spiritual awakening, a journey that unveils the boundless potential inherent within each of us. This path transcends mere understanding. It invites us to evolve continuously, shaping our reality through thoughts, emotions, and intentions. By awakening to our true potential, we open doors to transforming every facet of our lives, turning what once seemed impossible into tangible realities. Now, have you ever considered that you might be far more powerful than you've ever imagined? What if you were told that you possess the extraordinary ability to shape not only your own destiny, but the very fabric of the reality that surrounds you? I'm thrilled to have you here today as we delve into the fascinating world of spirituality. It's a topic often shrouded in misconceptions, and I'm excited to explore it together. Today, we embark on a journey into profound truths understood only by those deeply committed to their spiritual path. These truths aren't just intellectual knowledge. They serve as gateways to a new way of living, a life imbued with profound peace, purpose, and joy. To begin, let's engage in a brief interactive exercise. Reflect on what imagery spirituality conjures for you. Do you envision burning incense, mystical signs, or serene meditation retreats? Now consider how these images resonate within you. Do they stir peace, curiosity, or perhaps skepticism. Your reflections pave the way for our exploration into the deeper meanings and truths of spirituality. Now, envision a spiritual person. What activities do they engage in? How do they appear to you? Many might imagine them finding meaning in cloud formations, interpreting them as messages from the universe. However, spirituality transcends such stereotypes. It demands courage, an exploration of our deepest fears and challenges a journey into the uncharted territories of our inner selves. First, let's talk about the raw reality of spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening is often portrayed as a beautiful, enlightening experience filled with moments of profound clarity and bliss. But let's be real, it's not always like that. How many of you have experienced moments in your life that felt more like a crisis than an awakening? Raise your hand or leave a comment below. When you start on a journey of spiritual awakening, it's important to understand that it's not just about discovering beauty and peace. This process can be rugged and raw. It involves delving deep into yourself and confronting aspects of your life that are difficult, uncomfortable, and sometimes even painful. Let me ask you this. Have you ever felt like you were peeling back layers of yourself only to find emotions and beliefs you didn't even know were there? Maybe you've confronted hidden emotions, unresolved traumas, and deeply ingrained beliefs that have shaped your perception of yourself and the world. It can be challenging and may not feel beautiful in the traditional sense. This process involves stripping away layers of illusion, the false narratives and beliefs you've held onto. This stripping away can feel like losing a part of yourself, which can be disorienting and scary. It's a kind of dismantling of the ego, where you might question everything you thought you knew about yourself. So, it's crucial to go into a spiritual awakening with open eyes, knowing that it's not just about seeking beauty and tranquility. It's about embracing the whole spectrum of human experience, including the parts that are not as beautiful, to uncover a deeper sense of truth and connection. As Rumi said, the wound is the place where the light enters you. It's a misconception to think that spiritual individuals are always calm, collected, and whole. In fact, many people find their way to spirituality from a place of brokenness, seeking healing and understanding after experiencing pain, loss, or confusion. This spiritual journey is much like a process of piecing oneself back together. It involves a deep exploration into each fragment of one's being, understanding the nuances of personal experiences, emotions, and thoughts. This path isn't smooth. It's filled with struggles, setbacks, and moments that test one's faith and resilience. It's about navigating through the complexities of life, trying to find meaning and solace in the midst of turmoil. This journey is about recognizing and embracing one's imperfections. It's about understanding that every scar, every flaw, and every difficult experience contributes to one's unique spiritual path. This realization brings about a different kind of wholeness, one that accepts and integrates all aspects of self, including the broken parts. The idea of being broken and spiritual might seem contradictory, but in reality, they are deeply interconnected. The brokenness is not a permanent state. Rather, 
It's a catalyst for growth and transformation. It's through acknowledging and working through this brokenness that individuals find strength, wisdom, and a deeper connection to their spiritual selves. In essence, the brokenness of spiritual people is not a flaw. It's about turning the pain and confusion of life into lessons of resilience, compassion, and deeper awareness. This journey doesn't lead to a final destination of complete healing or perfection, but rather to continuous growth, learning, and evolution on the spiritual path. Wayne Dyer said, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. Spirituality is like an Ultraman race. The Ultraman race, renowned for its extreme endurance challenges, encapsulates the essence of what the spiritual journey entails. Let's imagine together. Close your eyes again and picture yourself preparing for an Ultraman race. You're about to embark on an extraordinary challenge that stretches over multiple days with swimming, biking, and running across great distances. In an Ultraman race, athletes push their physical and mental limits, often facing unforeseen obstacles and setbacks. Similarly, on the spiritual path, individuals embark on a marathon of self-discovery and growth. This journey is rarely straightforward or easy. It is dotted with challenges that test one's spirit and resolve. Think about a recent challenge you faced. It could be anything, a personal conflict, a difficult decision, or an emotional struggle. How did you feel during that time? Did you see it as a setback or an opportunity for growth? These hurdles can come in various forms, emotional struggles, existential questions, confronting deep-seated fears, or even navigating the feelings of solitude and isolation that can accompany such a profound inward journey. However, like an Ultraman race, the journey brings immense satisfaction and a profound sense of achievement. Each step forward on this path contributes to a deeper understanding of oneself and the universe. One of the greatest spiritual teacher, Osho, said, truth is not something outside to be discovered. It is something inside to be realized. Now let's talk about the gift of giving. Highly spiritual people often discover that true happiness comes as a byproduct of serving others and feeling like a source of blessings. Let's engage in a little reflection. Think about a time when you did something kind for someone else. How did it make you feel? Was it more fulfilling than receiving something yourself? This insight reveals that at the heart of a fulfilling life is the act of giving and being useful to others. For those deeply engaged in spirituality, the act of giving often brings more joy than receiving. This is not just about material giving. It's about sharing time, energy, wisdom, compassion, and love. The act of sharing in its many forms is seen as a form of healing, both for the giver and the receiver. It creates a cycle of positivity and kindness that benefits everyone involved. This perspective views each person as an integral part of a larger whole, where helping others is essentially helping oneself. Spiritual individuals often find that by focusing on being of service to others, they themselves experience a greater sense of purpose and joy. There's a profound sense of satisfaction and contentment that comes from knowing you've made a positive impact on someone else's life. Moreover, there's a belief that when you stop living solely for yourself and start living for the benefit of others, the universe starts working in your favor. This isn't necessarily about expecting direct rewards for good deeds. Rather, it's an understanding that by aligning oneself with the act of giving and serving, one naturally creates a life that is richer, more meaningful, and more harmonious. Mahatma Gandhi once said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And this brings me to our final thoughts on the never-ending spiritual journey. The moment you believe you have arrived at a final point of understanding or enlightenment, new horizons and deeper truths unveil themselves. This phase can be surprising and may even feel a little disorienting at first. Have any of you ever felt like you had a major breakthrough, only to realize there was even more to learn? You may have felt a sense of accomplishment in overcoming certain challenges or reaching a certain level of understanding, only to realize that there is much more to learn and experience. However, this is not a setback, rather, it's a testament to the boundless nature of spiritual growth. This is a reminder that spiritual growth is not linear or predictable. It's a dynamic, ongoing journey that continually unfolds in new and unexpected ways. Each stage of growth opens the door to new questions, experiences, and deeper levels of self-discovery. 
This aspect of the spiritual journey underscores the importance of remaining open, adaptable, and humble. Embrace the process and recognize that the journey itself is the destination. Each experience, whether joyful or challenging, is a stepping stone on the path to deeper understanding and connection. And now, here is one of my all-time favorite quotes. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Lao Tzu, thank you for watching, and I really hope you find something valuable in today's message. If it resonates with you, please share it with someone who might also benefit from it. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences, so feel free to drop them in the comments below. Wishing you an absolutely wonderful day.